Hi there, in this video we are going to see how to convert integer into Roman numeral and vice versa. Before going into coding logic, there are few basic details we need to understand. So there are seven symbols represent different values as shown. So here constraint is the number should be in range 1 to 3999. So if we are given input as 1994 then write output as MCMXCIV. Moving into logic for converting into Roman numeral, there are three rules we need to know such as rule of repetition, rule of addition and rule of subtraction. Let's take look one by one. Rule of repetition. When a symbol is repeated twice or thrice then its value should be multiplied by two or three. Say example of symbol x. x means 10. xx means 10 multiple by 2 which is 20. triple x means 10 multiple by 3 that is 30. Next symbols i, x, c and m can be repeated only 3 times maximum. Let's see in deep. Take symbol i which is used for units. i is 1. Then i plus i is 2. i plus i plus i is 3 but not i plus i plus i plus i is 4. It should be not repeated more than 3 so it is written as i plus symbol v. Next the symbols like v, l and d are never repeated. That is symbols for 5, 50 and 500 are can't be repeated. Rule number 2, rule of addition. So if higher value symbol is followed by smaller value symbol that is. If the smaller value is written to right side of higher value then it should be added to the higher value. Example, take 6 written as symbol V followed by I which is 5 followed by 1. So 5 plus 1 is 6. Likewise for number 11. And 12. Rule number 3, rule of subtraction. So if smaller value symbol is followed by higher value symbol in order words. If the smaller value is written to left side of higher value then it should be subtract to the higher value. Example. Take 4 written as symbol I followed by V which is 1 followed by 5. So 5 minus 1 is 4. Likewise for number 90 which can be written as 10 can be subtract from 100. And for number 400 written as C followed by D, 500 minus 100 is 400. The symbols V, L and D cannot be subtracted from any number. Example take 95. It should be written as 90 plus 5 not as 100 minus 5. Next only the symbols I, X and C are used for subtraction. And there are only 6 possibilities for the numbers 4, 40, 400, 9, 90 and 900. Hope this gives you basic understand and rules we need to know for handling Roman numerals. Let's move to coding approach. We can start convert the integer into Roman in either way from left to right to right to left. Simply an easy way of conversion is handling from left to right. Take number 1994, so as we discussed early in rules we are going to split the given integer into 1000 plus 900 plus 90 plus 4. After splitting we are going to use map technique, because converting integers involves determining the number and its position. Let's first get each digit in place value at ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. Let's move to mapping now. As we know these are symbol and their value. Start with place value 1. 0 is empty string. 1 is i. 2 is i i. 3 is i i i. 4 is we can repeat i for 4 times instead we will do 5 minus i that is iv. Then 5 is V. 6 is 5 plus 1 VI. 7 is VII. 8 is VIII. And 9 is 10 minus 1 that is 9. Next is for 10's places. 0 is empty string. 10 is X. 20 is XX. 30 is XXX. 40 is we can repeat x for 4 times instead we will do 50 minus 10 that is xl. Then 50 is l. 60 is 50 plus 10 lx. 70 is lxx. 80 is lxxx. 
and 90 is 100 minus 10 that is xc. Likewise we make for hundreds place value. We know c is 100, d is 500 and m is 1000. So similar to tens create mapping for 0, 100,200 till 900. Finally for thousand place value, we need to create mapping for 0, 1000, 2000 and 3000. Because we have constraint to limit 3999. Hope that explanation helps to understand. Now let's move into code for converting integer to Roman numeral. Let's create a separate method for doing our conversion naming it as convert Roman. Here we are getting integer as argument. As discussed, first map the place value number into array as ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. After created arrays for place values, next we need to get each digit from each place value in order to get the Roman numeral value for it from arrays. Remember we are converting from left to right so start from thousand. This summation of array corresponding to place value convert the given integer into Roman numeral which we need from this method. So making it as return statement. This result is returning string so change return type of this method as string. Now let's test this method for different set of inputs and see the outputs. Simply write the method name convert Roman and pass the input integer as arguments for method. Next we see how to convert the Roman numeral into integers. With help of rules of Roman numeral we are going to make it simply. Easy first, let's start with rule of repetition, so if a symbol is repeating then we will simply add it value to get the integer. Example take 3 here I represents 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 3. Next rule of addition. Take example DCLXVI, here also same adding individual symbol value from left to right. D 
D plus C plus L plus X plus V plus I equal 500 plus 100 plus 50 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1 which will gives integer value 666. Finally rule of subtraction. Take 9, I followed by X, I X, so 10 minus 1 equal 9. So we have to check for three conditions in order to conversion to integer. Condition 1. If given Roman numeral is last symbol or single symbol then simply add their value to output. Condition 2. Check the symbol is followed by another symbol and it is smaller value symbol. So we can add the symbol value to output. Condition 3. If symbol is followed by another symbol and that symbol is greater value then subtract the symbol value from output. Now let's move to coding. First create method Roman to integer for conversion. Here we are getting the Roman numeral as input which is string. Next for referring symbol with their numeric value. We are going to use hasp map key value pair. Alternative we can write separate method with conditions like switch case for fetching each character's numeric value in input string. Start storing the symbols and their numeric values in HasMap as key value pair. Start storing the symbols and their numeric values in HasMap as key value pair. Start from I is 1, V is 5, X is 10. L is 50, C is 100, D is 500, M is 1000. Next we are converting the Roman value into integer so planning to store as int output. Calculate string length for iteration purpose. Next let's start the iteration for each character in given input Roman string and see how we are converting as integer. Here I'm using for loop as my choice of iteration, start it from zero position till last character of string. As we seen in approach we have three conditions to verify so using else if conditions. Let's start for the Roman numeral having only one symbol or even last symbol, then how to get their numeric value we see in else part. First we need to get symbol value from string val, using input string val dot character at index, i, then we need to find out its numeric value from hash map and added to output. Next we need to check if symbol is followed by smaller value or same value so we can apply simply add its numeric value to output.
Also we need to make sure that this condition is checked only for the symbols which are followed by another symbols. So add i plus 1 should be less than string length. Otherwise we will get index out of bound exception. Next we need to do same and else if condition for the symbols followed by greater value symbol, where we need to subtract its numeric value from output. Let's return this final output coming from iteration. It is the required numeric value of given Roman numerical. So make the return type for method as integer. Now let's check out method how conversion works for different inputs. First for a single symbol x. Then ccv where symbols are just add to get its numeric value. For 9 where we need to subtract. Then for number involves both addition and subtraction 1994. Let's run this class and check the output for given set of inputs. Hope this video is understandable. Thanks for watching.